Hey guys, this is JJ Reardon. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you guys through the whole process of making the heart video, the one that I made with Neve O'Brien. <music> to start, the very first thing Neve and I did was we had a chat about what we'd like to get out of the project. After that conversation was had, what we did was I took some samples from the harp and those samples sounded like this. That was the first phase of this process. Then what I did was I went away and I composed this. So this is Logic Pro 10 and what I did in here was I laid out all the samples and I messed with them. To start, what I did was I started with drums. I always start with drums. And I said to meet Neve's idea of the funky time signature, what I would do is I'd start in 7-8 and the 7-8 section sounds like this. Yeah, so just to break it down a little bit, what I've got up here is I've got, let me just zoom in here. So what I've got here are the drums that went into the piece. I have two kick drums. Those drums were actually created from Neve hitting the harp itself and from pushing the foot of the harp to the floor. And the kick drums on their own sound like this. And there's a little lever on the top of the harp that you can use to change the pitch of the strings. And when you add that in, it kind of sounds like a little hi-hat. So in order to make those sounds sound the way we do, we had to process them a little bit. So kick drums both have kind of a high pass filter on them and they've got a bit of a bass boost, they're both compressed and there's a bit of a sub bass on them. And the tuning peg, what we did was we kind of, we killed the bass frequencies and we boosted the high end just to give that real kind of scratchy sound. All right, moving on. These um, harmonic impacts. Um, Neve actually plucked one string but kept it kind of muted and what I did was I sampled that, I dropped it into a sampler, this one here, where I could actually pitch shift it. And what I could do then with that is I could add like all these other notes to build up a chord and then throw on some reverb and some EQ, which gives it that kind of big spacey sound. Sounds like this again. Moving on, we've got two more elements in the 7-8 section. We've got the bass, which sounds like this. That's another sampled note, but it's actually been sequenced to play octaves. So with the bass, what we did was we threw on some gain just to boost the volume a bit, a bit of compression and a bit of overdrive. So the overdrive is just a distortion effect. And then finally, just to kind of delineate where all the seven, eight little sub beats are, du -du 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 -du. we've got this. We sampled one pitch and with the sampler, what I could do is I could bring that pitch up above the range of the harp. So where Neve's harp would normally stop at say like high A, I could go beyond that to B, C, D, E and so on. So what I did was I took that, brought it above the range of the harp, threw on some EQ, some gain, some space designer, that's the reverb and some compression. These guys down here, that's just one pitch that's been sampled, brought way up on it. We have some compression and some delay, which gives it that stuttering effect and some reverb just to space it out. That's the seven, eight section. Then we go into our breakdown. Some elements pretty much just remain. We've got the harmonic sample. We've got the bass. We've got this funky little arpeggiating sequence, which is very low in the mix. It just adds a bit of texture, which sounds like this. You know the deal, sample the note, add some effect. Where we really went to town with the found sound stuff was I pitched one note and I made this little transitionary effect and that's this thing here. So what I did was I just created a little arpeggio and again I threw on some delay, some reverb and it makes this really cool little... Yeah. Then we get into the 4-4. Four four. So just as things are building up here into the 4-4, four four, I introduce another element, which is this. So to make this, what I did was I took the same tone that I used to make this harmonic sample and this track needed a bit of syncopation so this element here was used to kind of create a bit of a groove. The snares are made up of two sounds. One sound was the sound of the little tuning wrench, the little tuning peg hitting one of the little, um, I don't know what you'd call it, tuning dial things. It sounds like... It's got a really sharp attack, so that needed to be balanced out with something a bit more mellow. And I took the sound of Neve tapping the timber on the frame of the harp, and that sounds like this. It's a more mellow tone, so when you pair them, you get a cool snare. When you throw everything together, you're left with... Just 
just from watching, you know, other composers doing their thing, a lot of the times what you kind of end up realizing is it's not always about putting stuff in. Sometimes you got to take stuff out. And for this section here, just leading into the final huzzah of the piece, I killed a lot of the drums. So I took out one of those kick drums. I took out the tuning pegs, the little hi-hat sound, the two snares, and I introduced this component here. It just created a bit of a different atmosphere and it added in another level of syncopation. And what I did here was I took that harmonic sample once more. I just took this sampler and I made a chord with it. And I played that chord every three quaver beats. So what it does is it creates a, a three against four polyrhythm and that doesn't stop throughout until the very end. So when all the drums are killed and just this fella is left, we're left with this. And then when everything comes back in, we're left with this. So that was week two of this process. So week one was our interview, week two was this, week three. When all of this was done, what I did was I emailed this to Neve and I asked her to try and come up with like a melody line or a lead line. So Neve went away and wrote this really cool thing to play over it. And it sounds kind of like this. So we met up in the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance in Limerick and we booked studio time and we just, we tracked it. When we were done, I went away, I mixed it, I mastered it and it ended up sounding like this. So that was it for the musical creation. So the third week was, you know, that, that recording and that mixing and that mastering. The fourth week, the final week of this process was shooting the video. So what we did was, once again, we met up in the World Academy of Music and Dance. First and foremost, what I did was I recorded, you know, Neve playing the actual samples because we wanted everything to look uniform. So we had this lovely black backdrop and we could shoot in this dark room and control the lights. So once all those samples were videoed and I edited them to look the way they do, I recorded Neve performing the track in a couple of different positions just to give us some options. Then I I set about creating the video. So I used Final Cut Pro. I was able to collage all of the found sound clips, which looked like this. And the result of that is what you see in our videos. Yeah, that's that's the process from start to finish. I hope you guys got something out of it. I had a really good time making this track and, you know, big thank you to Neve O'Brien for her input into this. She's class harpist. Check out her stuff. Have a look for her there on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.